Greetings, Great Witch here. So we now have some roles that we can play in Red Dead Online, and I decided I would go with the one that's the Collector. Some kind of a magpie. I like to explore and pick up all the stuff that's around, and I did pretty good in story mode finding all the treasures, so I figured this would be right up my alley. So the first thing you have to do is you have to come right over here to Madame Nazar, and for some reason, this woman likes to move around the map. I don't understand why that happens, but that's something that does, so you're going to have to find her occasionally for some reason it's someone you're working for but they're gonna hide so get ready for that but otherwise you'll come over here there's a little story mode thing that you're gonna go through she's gonna explain everything and all that I'm not gonna go through the whole thing but you'll get the gist of it or the gist or however it's pronounced but anyway that's pretty much this whole beginning part here is just the get you started up show you what you need and all that. So, it's not too bad. It's actually well done. I like the way that they did this. The way that it works is going to be kind of jinky, but we'll see how that goes as it progresses. So, I didn't have access to what I needed the first day because I had to wait 24 hours to get my free collector's pouch that I earned in Red Dead, uh, Grand Theft Auto. So, I'm back now. All right, so this shows you all the stuff that you can get from her. And first you need the collector's bag, which is gold. So if you didn't get it for free, you're going to have to go make some gold or buy shark cards, things, or whatever, gold bars. And then you have all this other stuff that you'll be able to rank up and get. A lot of cool things, binoculars, metal detector, got a shovel you can get right now. And then there's a bunch of these maps that you can buy that'll help you find stuff to make money. Now, one of the things you want to know about these maps is you can buy a bunch of them and have them in your collection, but you can only use one map at a time. Do not open multiple maps, because whatever map you open first, if you open another map after that, you're going to lose your first map and you're going to have to buy another one. So, make sure you don't open any other maps. And there's some pretty cool stuff in here. I really want that Viper Buckle. Some other cool things in here that are, you know, just for the collector. I don't know about these glasses. Kind of, I don't know, jinky. And there's some cool stuff. These gloves are kind of cool. Like the compass. I'm not so sure about the hats. But some rings. Got all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm digging all the custom things you can just get for this style of character that you're playing. So that'll be interesting to see how that works out. And we seem to have some new kind of currency. It's tokens that you earn for doing your thing. To buy stuff. So that's going to be kind of weird. So... Already, I'm rank one and my collector. A few more. Get the five, and then I'll be able to get some stuff. Now, this is something I do. Whenever I open a map, I don't know if this is going to be something that will help you out, but in a lot of games that I play, whenever I open a map, I always take a screenshot of it. I'll get to the area of where I need to see, and then I'll screenshot it. Because sometimes you'll need a map, but you won't be able to open it up. And this way, I always have a picture of the map that I need. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if this is going to help you in this game. I don't know if stuff will disappear from the maps. But it's something that I've always done in lots of games that I play. And I thought it might be a tip that could help for everybody else. So, I'm just throwing this out there. It might not help you. It might help you. It's something I do. I think you might take it. So, the first thing we're going to do is go to this liquor bottle place and check that out. Now, I didn't have any idea of how this was going to work when I first got here. I didn't know if I was going to need to use red eye, I mean dead eye or eagle eye or whatever it was that you needed to do. And so I just kind of was just wandering around just trying to find stuff. And that's pretty much what I did until I came inside. And I noticed that there's a lot of stuff that you can grab now. So that's pretty cool. Because before it was pretty bare inside of some of these buildings. You wouldn't get any supplies or anything. There seems to be a lot of stuff now, which I'm really digging. So you got all kinds of little tonics and stuff. And then about right here is where my controller started to vibrate. And since I knew I was looking for liquor bottles, I thought it was these bottles that are on top of this dresser here. But it wouldn't let me grab them, and there was no indication to grab them, but my controller's just going nuts. So I'm like, it's got to be something right here. And then it's just, you know, didn't go nothing over there. And then I came back over here. It was still going bonkers. So I started doing through the drawers, but, you know, nothing. No indication. I was like, well, I don't know what's up with this. 
But then when I stepped in here, it just went off the chain. So I knew it had to be that bottle on the table. So now I'm just picking up everything else. But that's pretty much it. There's a lot of stuff in here. And this is pretty much, I guess, how it's going to be is just collecting. Just like you would normally do, just wandering around picking stuff up. And then you'll get the collections. So you just got to make sure you don't sell them or get rid of them or anything like that. And there's a good amount of stuff in here, like I said. But a bunch of stuff. So keep searching. And then, for the other two, I had to go find a tarot card. The same basic thing. Controller is going nuts. Vibrating real bad. Hello. So make sure you have the vibration turned on on your controller. And then there's that one. Got one of the tarot cards. So that's another collection that I got started up that I can find. And finding the cards is a pain in the butt. Now one thing that's really cool that you get from doing these different things is you start unlocking different skills and things. One of the skills that you can be able to unlock is to be able to pick plants from your horse. And I'm really looking forward to that one because I spend a lot of time hunting and stuff like that. So I pick up the plants to sell to the doctor. So I'll be able to pick them up from a horse will be a real big plus. And here's this last one. We have to pick up the flower. It's right there. And that's pretty much it. It's gonna be pretty simple. So I'm kind of digging this one. The next one I'm gonna probably go into is gonna be the trader. We'll see how that works out. All right, this is Grey Witch. I hope this video helps you out and I will see you next time. Peace.